G'day everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Pierre and this is Simple Home Brew. I'm doing an Australian bitter today. It's probably gonna be like a Victorian bitter. I don't know, we'll soon find out. Um, so if you're interested, stick around. This Australian Bitter is, um, again, one of Morgan's brew kits. It's onion extract with dextrose. We're using dextrose again. One kilo, and it's exactly how Morgan's wants you to make this brew. I'm pretty sure that they do everything the same for every brew. So on that, we'll take that lid off. Ow. Same yeast, like always, brewer's yeast. Yep, brewing yeast, it just probably says a number there, don't know. Oh, it does have a number there. God knows what that means. But anyway, it's brewing yeast. So now, the first thing I should do is pop this into some stinking hot water. So I'll boil the kettle and I'll come back to you. So while I'm waiting for my kettle to boil, which is just about to finish, I'm having a nice little IPA that I made a few, few brews back. It is one of the best ones I've ever had. Beautiful hoppy smell, great beer taste. Clean flavour, very, very rich in flavour. Probably one of the best beers I've ever had. Cheers. Ah, beautiful. Very nice. So now my kettle's boiled. I have a half a Camden tablet, again, uh, to help neutralise, of course, our water supply has chlorine and chloramine in it, so we need to neutralise that to get better flavour. So I'll pop that over there. That's only half a Camden tablet. The rest of the water will go into this little dish. This little container can handle the hot water, which I'm glad of. Um, what I'm gonna do is pop the extract in there, and the extract's gonna soak in there for about half an hour while I'm getting everything else ready. Uh, what will happen is it will warm up and become very fluid. Uh, it'll be pour extremely well. So, love doing it. it makes it so much easier to make this brew. <clears throat> So we'll get back to you soon. I'm gonna to have to dissolve my dextrose in hot water. I have a big old pot here, this one here. So what I'll do is I've sanitized the pot, as you can see, I've got a sanitizer in there. I'm going to pour two and a half, uh, two liters of hot water into this pot. I'll have to boil the kettle once more. When I pour the hot water in there, I'll pop the dextrose in there and we'll, uh, we'll be ready to add the extract. Well. The kettle's nearly boiled. I've got two liters of hot water to pour into my pot. I'll now get my dextrose ready. And one kilo of dextrose to put in. It's uh, recommended by Morgan's to do one kilo of dextrose, nothing more. Use their yeast and off you go. So this is their way of getting a quick ferment and a quick brew. Now I must say, look, if you age it a little bit, it does taste quite good. So the kettle's boiled, we shall stop it there, pop it in, we'll just pour it into our dextrose here and dissolve it. Now, um, there's about two and a half litres in this kettle, I'll just put the whole lot in, it's all right. That's it, get the spoon. Now this, hot, this water is boiling hot, so anything that comes in contact with it, in as in bacteria, pretty much croaks it. Have a look there. Just dissolve the old dextrose, which dissolved quite quickly. So that's ready to go. How quick was that, hey? Now the, I shall put that over here. Pop the lid on, put it aside for now, and proceed to open my extract, which has been sitting for about 15, 20 minutes. So it should be now warm enough that it'll be very, very pourable. Okay, get, the, get it out of there. Way so I don't get burnt. Uh, we need a bottle like a can opener. What do I do with the can opener? So I'll crack the can opener on here. Now the can opener's battery's getting pretty low, so I might have to assist it. We'll soon see. Now I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it. Haha, <laughs> we're ready. Okay, 
Can is open. Let's have a look what's inside, shall we? I'm sure you can see it from there. Again, it's beautiful. Nice extract. Very, ooh, very nice smell, that one. It's got a very rich smell. And we'll now pour that into our hot water, just like this. Look at that, it's just like fluid again. It's very nice. So I'll do what I did before. I'll put as much as I can out of the can in here and then go back into the house and fill my fermenter up and come back. So at the moment, as you can see, there's a lot of extract still in there. So what I'll do is I'll actually use this to fill my fermenter up. And what that will do is actually rinse this right out and clean it right out. So my fermenter will be full of water. Um, it'll have about 17 liters or 18 liters of water in there. And then the rest of this extract will be poured in to finish it off. So the beauty of this guys, it's inexpensive. It cost me $17 or so for a can. Um, it cost me about $2.50 for some dextrose and a bit of time water. That's all, all my equipment I had already. So if you think about it, it's less than $20 and I get 23 liters of beer out of it. That's a, quite a bit, that's quite a big saving. Well, the cost of beer in Australia is skyrocketing and uh, we don't need that. We need to have something that we can enjoy and relax with. So now I'm going to go grab my fermenter, which is already wrapped in its jacket. <laughs> Take it out to my, um, to my kitchen at the moment, rinse this out, fill this fermenter up to about 20, no, it won't be 20, 20 litres, it'll be about 17, 18 litres, and we'll go from there. We'll see you soon. So we're ready to add the extract, but before we do it, we need to put our Camden tablet in. Remember I put a Camden tablet in this cup and dissolved it. So I'll pop that in first. That'll just mix around and help dissolve or neutralize the chlorine that we have in our tap water. And from here, I'll pour in my extract into my funnel, because unfortunately, this little bloke has a small opening. So if you guys can see this, no, I have to actually bring this one online. So you guys, I'm sure can see this. Pop that over there. We'll bring that little arm down so you can see what happens. These pots are great. Uh, I got one cheap. Uh, I reckon it was cheap. It was 70 bucks. So, so we're pouring our Queensland... Oh, actually, what is this? Bitter? It is a scrub. It's Queensland bitter. <laughs> I think. Or oh, it's Australian bitter. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's probably Queensland bitter because I was saying something about being Victorian bitter. Okay, I'll quickly run up, I'll check the levels. We're at 22 litres, so I need to put another litre of water in that just to uh, top her up to 23 litres. Right, I'm back. I've just rinsed it out, giving it a bit more water just to get, it, get the rest of it out if I can. So as easy as that. So while I'm pouring this in, we'll check the level now. We're looking at nearly 23 litres, just a little bit more. I think the rest of it that will do it. All right, that's 23 litres. Absolutely spot on 23 litres. All we need to do now, and it's cool, the temperature should be about 25. If I can find the bloody gauge. Yeah. Oop. Where did I stick that? Oh, over there, right where I can't put my head. Oh, we let it, you can add the yeast in at any temperature below 30 uh, and between 22 and 30 degrees. So it's well below 30 degrees. Here's my yeast. It's just brewer's yeast. Same thing as always. Bit of sanitizer on it just in case someone touched it with their grubby hands. I will sprinkle that in there. It's going to be a bit hard to stir this, but it does say stir uh, vigorously for about 30 seconds. So that's what I'll do. And aerates it as well, what I'm doing. 
Again, it's not overly important to do this. A lot of people will um, say to you, you need to rehydrate your yeast before throwing it in. But I can tell you, I've never had an issue. And I know a lot of people out there who've talked to, about it, and none of them have had any issues with this at all. So what I'm doing is just aerating it, putting oxygen into the wort, so yeast has something to breathe while it's eating the sugar. So Now this is the Fermentosaurus. This is my Australian bitter. Post it into a Fermentosaurus. I will now place the pressure fermenter nozzle in. Sitting over here, quickly spray down the carriage with sanitizer. And five minutes already sanitized, I've just been careful. Yeast is done. Pop this little lid on. All nice and clean. Just firm. I'll now find my blow tie, uh, which I'll have a second one. First I'll zip this up because now it's, it's sealed. I'm happy with what, what's going on. There's no leaks, no nothing like that. So I'll zip this up and keep it looking good. So now I'll put my second blow tie together. I'm gonna to pop it on the um, fermenter, but before I do that, I'm gonna pressurize the fermenter. Now, you guys who are watching this, of course, this is, a, I guess, an advanced way of fermenting. Um, what it is, is basically we pressurize the fermenter. I'm, I'm gonna pressurize the fermenter. You, if you look at my other videos, I actually show you how it's done. All I do is just pop in about 10 pounds of pressure in the actual fermenter, let it expand and fill up. So it's about 10 pounds now. I'll spray some sanitizer around it. Just want to check for leaks, you know, make sure nothing's coming out. Which I'm happy to say it is not. I'll now pop my blow tie on, which is, of course, sanitized. <laughs> now, and my blow tie will go on the in gas in line. And see what happened there. Basically, it was under pressure. I turned the blow tie until it re stopped releasing pressure. I wanted to ferment at around 10 to 15 pounds per square inch, and uh, it seems to get a good carbonation at that poundage. And uh, I'll whack it up now onto the bench. Uh, 23 litres. Would be about 30 kilograms, I suppose. So that blow tie now, that fermenter will sit up here. We've got some really mild weather coming. So our weather will be 20 odd degrees every day. And the shed with the insulated roof, insulated, <laughs> the shed with the insulated roof will actually cater for it because it's um, been able to keep it at 24, 25 degrees every day lately. And it's really good for my fermenting with, um, with um, Morgan's Bruise. So I'm really happy with that. So that's it for this brew, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, keep your eye out for more videos. I've got a few more coming up. And uh, if you want to see them or want to be notified by it, hit that little bell and select all videos if you can. We'll catch you again in the next one. See ya.